I want to make a couple more motifs and then with the motifs that we've made so far I want to actually do one of the little designs that is on offer from a site called let's go and find it it's on here somewhere French Knots and I think it's frenchknots.com I'm not certain there's there's quite a few French knots out there I'll double check that take that last one out there for a moment I actually want to increase the magnification here I can't see what I'm doing okay now each one of these squares is two millimeters long so I want to come out at least a millimeter and then a right node and a left node right node left node back into the center oh hand up to this side right left right left and back into the center enter as you're mainly going to be making sort of greeny or whatever we're going to change the color because once you've made your motif it tends to want to stick to the color it was digitized in so I'm going to make it green you can change the colors but a lot of people give up almost immediately because they think the program is not working and I'll show you what I mean in a second so I'm going to go to embroidery make motif I'm going to Add it to HE. There it is. Hand embroidery. And call it grass seeds. Three S's, look at that. Okay. And then I'm going to put a trace point there and a trace point there. Grass seed has been created. Okay, so I'm going to go and pick up my motif online. Come on, open up. Thank you. Motif online. Double check that I've got that motif. I always go to my object details and check to see what size it is in here. Motif online. 968 by 516. And there it is. Okay. One, two, three. Four. and there's my grass seeds now if I decide I don't want it that length I highlight it I go into object reshape I pick up this the last node and I drop it back and now I don't know if you noticed you lost a set of ears off the end there it is sat in my design so that's another one done. So I'm going to close that. I'm not going to save it as a Jan because a lot of these I already have in other folders or ones that are very similar not these particular ones. Image, insert image and all files. Now I've downloaded a whole pile of these from the site French Knots is this the one that's got the hollyhocks in? Mm, don't know. Where's the crinoline ladies? There's the crinoline lady. That's one. I got that off of a different site. I'll take this one. I know this one's got hollyhocks in. Okay, miles too big. This came off a Russian site. 50. Thank you. I personally, I'm not a great lover of crinoline ladies but I know lots of people are okay blow up my screen and pick up my run line tool I just want the hollyhocks I'm having even more problems with my hands today I wish our weather would settle down. Wrong one. Thank you. And a right click there and a left click there. 
and then right click in there left click in there and I'm going to enter that for a minute and I'm going to put this bit in here and you know what I'm going to use don't you uh, if you don't have branching you've got to path yours which means you've got to do this as you're moving around and I'll show you what I mean by that that was the round one that's the left one and then I'd come down around here and I would immediately come down that's got to be a left in there that had to be a left come on now Maggie a left into there a right a right a right a right a left a right a left a right onto that stitch a right a left a right a left now this is a lot closer to this one than the others so a left a right 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 and just curl that around there and if I'd had any sense at all I'd have entered that and then just done this and I could have told it backtrack to there but I haven't got any sense at all so now I've got to go back along my lines with right clicks up to this point, make that a left click up enter that one ok one two three down to there right click left click right click left click right left right left right left and join onto that one okay I want that one hold down shift come down to here now if I had passed all of these which I could have done because this actually touches that and so does that I wouldn't need to do the branching wrong one branching I want it to start down the bottom so I'm going to tell it start here and I want it to end up there ok that's it branched now I'm going to go into embroidery make motif hollyhocks H O oh didn't intend for that, oh, I didn't press the right key H Hox ok I'm going to be using this as a stamp my trace line up the middle Hox has been created click off embroidery gallery H E hand embroidery hox ok and position him into place one two any more hollyhocks for any more? Uh, why not have one here and then tell that escape thank you ok so now we've created a hollyhock and we've created 
our grass seeds. And we've created a whole pile of things. So now I'm going to find a design that we can actually do with most of the things that we've just created. So I'm going to close this. No. And in the next video, I'll import a design and we'll do it with our motifs. So I'll see you in the next video.